that's right after that big crash for Eric Jones a week ago at Talladega. He will be sitting out this race, but he is here. So his relief driver, young Corey Heim, he's never been in a cup car before. Of course, he's a nine-time winner in the Arkham Menard Series, six-time winner in the trucks. So he is in the car for the first time, but he is a backup driver for Legacy Motor Club and 2311. He's in the shop almost weekly. He does a lot of the simulation, but there's nothing like actually being in the race car. But the good news for Corey Heim going through the transition, he has Jimmy Johnson here on the team racing this weekend. Matt Kenseth is here helping, and you saw that shot of Eric Jones. He's on top of the hauler, listening and giving feedback where he can. So a big day, a little bit bittersweet for Corey Heim. Thanks, Jamie. Let's go back one week to Talladega. Hard hit for the 43 and Eric Jones, who once the car came to rest, said, I'm going to need some help getting out. My back hurts. However, he was checked at the infield care center and released. He went to Birmingham, checked in at the hospital that evening, uh, was released, came back to Charlotte, and they found a hairline fracture of a vertebrae. So the timetable for his return is up to the doctors. Just tells you how strong these guys are. I mean, not only did he hit, he knew immediately, said it on the radio, man, my back is is not right here. Went to the care center, came out, granted us an interview, standing there, right? Standing upright, then went, hey, something's wrong. Went back to the hospital and uh, they found that fracture. Just these boys are tough. And Kevin, you can't hit any harder than he hit. No, and that was, you know, in the you know, somewhere around 70 G impact. And, and when you talk about that impact with, with everything that, that the angle and everything that went with that wreck, you know, it, it's just a it's just a really difficult spot to be in from a driver's standpoint. When you know that you don't feel right and you're hurt and you want to be in the car and you know if you expose that, uh, that there's a possibility that you're going to sit out. But he, he knew he was hurt. And if you have any kind of an injury, especially a back injury, this is not the track you want to go to. A lot of G loads, a lot of banking in this. Create those G loads. Absolutely no go for anybody to have in trouble at this demanding racetrack. And we're just three minutes into this practice session, and Denny Hamlin already has an issue. All right, I got my first problem found with the sensor. Can't reach a clutch pedal. Um, lip of it. We got to shave down this lip underneath my leg so I can straighten it out more. I'm running out of, like I'm on my tippy toes trying to reach it, so I don't know if that's something we can just shave off. Everything else feels fine. Yeah, and a lot of that comes from usually when you pour the inserts, you want your legs to, you, you want to try to have them extended so that if you're going to use your left leg, you push down the clutch pedal, and if you use your right leg, you, you pour that insert with your seat down. This sounds like a situation where his pedals weren't down when he poured his insert, and now he's gone to push the, the, the clutch pedal down, and that, uh, that lip on the front of the seat is too high because he didn't leave his feet down when he poured the insert. Can't that's that's what I would guess. Yeah, yeah. It has to be bottom that seat lips up a little bit higher for some support creating that. Doesn't have those 18-way adjustable sports seats like in your 911 front. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> How many ways? 18. I'll tell you which way is fast is William Byron's way. This 24 car, 23.39 is his race trim uh, speed he's falling off to. But that takeoff speed, Kevin, 22.64, that's getting it done. Yeah, and sometimes that can be a little bit tricky. Uh, racetrack is clean. Concrete surface here when it's clean. It's going to have some speed this morning. It's not going to lay a lot of rubber, I would say, because of the temperature. I'd say we'll see a lot of rubber on the racetrack tomorrow and because these Goodyear tires will want to lay more rubber. But when this racetrack is clean and has a lot of grip, especially for somebody like William that's confident in his car and not bottoming out, um, and how to drive the, the car fast right off the bat. Have you, as you see, William, going around this racetrack, remember, this is a diffuser that you see on an intermediate-style racetrack, a mile-and-a-half style. Not a Bristol, not the short tracks. Actually, Bristol, we ran this same package, so um, doesn't surprise me a bit. Who do we see the top of the sheet? Back to Hendrick Motorsports, William Byron. Larry, what do you got? Yeah, just talking about this weather, it's going to be significantly different tomorrow, and that's kind of the challenge. I know it's the same for everybody. Right now, it's in the high 50s, maybe a high of 60 today. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the high 70s, and this surface is so temperature sensitive. If you remember this race last year, the sun would come out, all of a sudden everybody would be loose. The sun would go in, the clouds would come out, everybody would be tight. So that's going to be a challenge to dial your car in for tomorrow with the weather they've got this morning. Better have some adjustability put into it. That's what you're saying.